Hello, my name is Mark and welcome to rchacker.com. Now, on my website, I did a build, I did a whole lot of upgrades to the Turnergy 9X radio and one of those included adding these uh, truss fire batteries to it. Now, I overcharged these at one stage and managed to kill one of the cells, which then sat in my desk for for a number of months before it, uh, without any notice, exploded. Now, I, the other battery which I overcharged, which wasn't dead in the end, I put on this little MP3 player because the battery inside that had died. Now, I'm a bit reluctant to actually keep this in my pocket, you can understandably. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it apart and I'm just going to check and see whether this actually has any protection circuitry inside. So, I'm going to switch to this uh, other camera here and we're going to pull this little baby apart. Let's go. Okay, so first up I've just got to remove the wiring stuff. I'll remove the little MP3 player off. It's just a really cheapo little MP3 player which the internal battery had died. And um, I thought I'd put a, a big one on it so it would last for weeks. And it worked fine. Except I don't trust these batteries anymore. and there you can see where it's actually vented out let's try and get this off the top first maybe I can move that no, nothing It's definitely just chemicals in there at the bottom there. See when I go through it actually I don't know if you can see that the sparks. And it doesn't smell too good either. On both ends it doesn't seem to be enough room for there to be a protection circuit actually in there and I'm really reluctant to cut this open unless it's just under there under that little head there so maybe I'll just try and reef that one out Hey, hey, what have we got here? Let's make sure we can see that. You can see the, the coiled up layers inside. And then the end cap and there's no room in that end cap for any circuitry at all, so we must be talking the other end. Alright. Okay, is that enough to get in there and open that up? Okay, I, 
I ran out of memory there, so I don't know if I actually got got it opening up the back end there, but you know, you can see here, I I have the cap off, and again, it's just the coiled up, sorry, the rolled up material in there. You can see it there. There's there is no circuitry inside this thing at all. I've seen um, pictures on the internet of other ones that have been taken apart and they've got a small circular circuit board in one end, but this one, nothing at all. So, I bought fakes. I think I bought fakes and I almost, um, you know, they're pretty dangerous if I'm not charging them properly. So, so there you go. You've got to be careful where you buy these things. I bought them from eBay, you know, fairly cheap. They've got the fancy Trustfire reflective sticker on them and everything. Nothing to indicate that they weren't what they should have been. So there you go. Okay, so I've got our battery ready to go and we're going to do a bit of a um, fast charge to see what happens there. So there you go, trust fire batteries. I don't trust them. Even though it does say on the packaging there, precise digital protection circuitry built in. From the teardown, we obviously saw there was none of that. Um, and then when we fast charged them, it caught fire. So if that thing still had the ends on it, if it still had the battery caps on the end, that would have exploded in a major way. And that's exactly what one of them did in my office after I'd overcharged it and then left it sitting around. It had been sitting around for almost two months. So um, I will st still be using them. I'll uh, continue using them in this, in this uh, radio here. But I'll make sure that I use a proper charger to charge them in future rather than just... Um, hooking them up to a plug pack and relying on the internal circuitry which I thought was there and obviously wasn't so if you're interested in more please uh, visit my website rchacker.com or please subscribe